The Australian Embassy here in Seoul celebrated the country's biggest holiday, Australia Day, with a special event filled with food and culture. Our Connie Lee takes us to a little bit of life down under right here in the capital. Fresh, plump cherries, mangoes as large as your face, and deep red wine. These are just a few of the things that are here in Korea, straight from Australia. Celebrating Australia Day under the theme of showcasing Australia, the nation's embassy in Seoul held a gala event to highlight all the things the nation has to offer to Korea as a key trade and investment partner. With the Korea-Australia Free Trade Agreement in full effect since December 2014, there are certain items from the land down under that are now cheaper here in Seoul. For instance, these cherries. The removal of the 24 percent tariff has made these fruits much more affordable to Korean consumers, likewise for Australian wine. I'm a lover of wine. It's a personal interest of mine. So um, I, I think with the tariff on wine coming down the free trade agreement, I hope to see more range of choice of Australian wine uh, in, in the market. The Australian ambassador adds that he wants to stimulate new areas of trade this year and maintain his country's strong defense relationship with Korea. We put a big emphasis on our defense relationship. Australia is very much an Asia-Pacific country, so peace and stability on the Korean peninsula is central to our economic uh, health. The event also included a special performance by Korean-Australian pop singer Tommy Im, the 2013 winner of the singing show X Factor Australia. I do want to come back to Korea this year and um, if I get the opportunity, you know, um, I want to do my own concert and, you know, actually get to meet my fans and spend a bit more time here. Connie Lee, Arirang News.